Zoom is a 2006 movie featuring Tim Allen as a washed up hero training a bunch of kids to become superheroes. It features such actors as Chevy Chase, Courtney Cox, and Rip Torn. Because of its excellent cinematic experience, it boasts a whopping 4% on Rotten Tomatoes. Now, a lot of people haven't seen this movie, which is probably a good thing. But we're gonna take a look at what the people who have seen it have to say. Frankly, I am totally mystified by this film's rating. 2.2 as of this writing. All I can think of is Hollywood is afraid on someone in this movie becoming a threat to the elite and wants to sink them. An interesting argument, Floyd. Apparently, the bad reviews are all people working for the Hollywood elite and are bent on destroying Tim Allen and everything he stands for. It was nothing short of painful. I took an 11-year-old to see this movie, and he was actually pissed at me for suggesting the movie. The way I see it, Peter Hewitt owes me $20 for the movie tickets and three hours of my life back. Now here's a man who's treating his kids right. Starts out rather racist and then quickly descends into a hot stinking pile. Now, Adrian, my man. In my research, I couldn't find anything racist about this film. In fact, I don't think there's a single black person in it. Wait, wait a second. That's, that's the racist part, isn't it? Would I watch it again? Maybe just to watch Zoom stumble again. <laughs> film has three apparent villains in the film, except none of them are bad, and we never know why two of them are necessarily considered bad. But that's okay, because the story was written by someone with ADD or perhaps short-term memory loss. Ultimately, what transpires is a terribly unfunny movie that wears out its welcome faster than its main character runs. Damn, people really hate this movie. What else is Tim Allen supposed to be in? I don't see Hollywood knocking down his door for any serious movies. Now that, that's a good point, actually. There are a few moments in the first 15 minutes of the movie where you have a hope that something good will happen in the movie, but we quickly discover that the purposes behind bringing this group of kids together are entirely unsound and unexplainable, and the rest of the movie has been constructed around random events placed in the film for no apparent reason other than to fill the obligatory 90 minutes minimum required for all non-animated movies. So yeah, in other words, just watch it and watch the kids laugh. Not all the movie had parts taken from other movies. There were lots that are original and the actors were really good at the parts they did. You need to think how hard it would be to make a superhero movie original because all the ideas were taken already. All right, sorry, Hollywood. Stop making superhero movies. All the ideas, gone. Just give it up now. I'll warn any viewer. If you really want to see this movie, you likely only need to see it once, or even half of it, since it's like the worst movie ever created in the history of the universe, period. Oh great, you hear that emoji movie? You're off the hook. The one thing that stuck with me long after watching this movie was the realization that my first impression of Chevy Chase was wrong. When he first appeared on screen, I was positive he was covered in makeup, but as time wore on, it became clear that's actually what his head looks like these days. Good lord, the current state of Chevy Chase's head is actually the most interesting aspect of this movie. The rest of the movie is celluloid child abuse. And by that, I mean you really need to rethink your parenting skills if you're willing to subject your kids to this. I, I don't even know what to make of this review. The action is wonderful, never a dull moment. Make sure to eat your popcorn during the previews because you will want to sink yourself into this movie. Amazing twist at the end, you have to see it. Enjoy, we sure did. I truly hated this movie. Zoom was a terrible movie. At the very least, the plot was unoriginal, the acting was blatantly dull, and the biggest fact drove me up a wall the most of the time kids were running the show. I didn't like a single part of this movie. I hated the directions. I hated the children. And I hated storyline. The only reason why I went to watch it was because a friend of mine was in it. I'm assuming the situation might or might not be the same for you. But overall, don't watch it. That's my advice. He rated it a 10 out of 10 though. Zoom to watch it on TV when it comes and you'll learn how great of a movie it is. Trust me, this is a type of movie that you would want to see with your friends and family and don't forget to tell them some of your favorite parts of the movie. Was this written by Tim Allen? Yeah, the movie soundtrack having five Smash Mouth songs really fits the tone and overall quality of the movie. I had my doubt about Tim Allen in this one, but he pulled it off again. Now I can't wait for the Santa Claus 3 to come out. I thought this form of torture was illegal now. Just find it in your hearts to stop people from seeing this movie. Zoom is one of the most beautifully acted films that I have seen in recent years. The performances by Tim Allen and Courtney Cox are spectacular. Utter rubbish. A waste of 90 minutes of my life. 90 minutes too long. <clears throat> 
In an era rampant with political propaganda and conceited thought, Zoom prevails, providing a much needed look into the depravity of modern society. At the center of this masterpiece is none other than Tim Allen, the undisputed god of cinema. Through clever allegory and sublime acting, Allen's performance showcases the human race with unprecedented realism. His portrayal of Jack Shepard encompasses a range of meaning wider than the Grand Canyon, granting the viewer ultimate resonance. As the film progresses, an increasing amount of thought is demanded from the viewer. Certain plot points vanish, and the film transcends the realm of entertainment and enters that of prophecy. <laughs> Fuck, I can't do it. <laughs> Through delicate craftsmanship and subtle detailing, Zoom manages to deliver its messages in a manner that is both poignant and subdued, leaving the viewer to ponder their very existence. Case in point, Zoom is an artistic think piece designed to engulf the viewer until the final frame of the credits to much avail. Quite possibly, the Mona Lisa of its medium, Zoom is an unequivocal masterpiece, and its political and social relevance shall know no end. I've seen better tampon commercials. Man, these people are really shitting on Zoom. Best film this year! Can't wait for Zoom 2, or even Zoom 3 to complete the trilogy.